Good evening. Moving with a speed we don't often see. News Watch 10, your eye on the world continues. Thursday, August 8th, with the 10 News Watch team and Chris Clark, John Giorsi, and Dave Lehman. Good evening, everyone. News Watch 10, news with Vince Gibbons, Chris Clark on sports, and John Giorsi with weather. Now, News Watch 10. Hello. Television 10, southeastern New England's leading news station. This is News Watch 10. News Watch 10, the 6 o'clock report with Doug White, John Sweeney, John Giorsi, and Chris Clark. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Sweeney. And I'm Doug White. Here's what's happening. Now, from southeastern New England's leading news station, News Watch 10, with Doug White and Larry Estepa. Good evening. This is WJAR, Channel 10, Providence. Now, from southern New England's leading news station, Frank Coletta, Art Lake, and Tony DiBiazio. This is News Watch 10 at sunrise. Good morning, I'm Pat Masters. Frank Coletta is off today. Now, from Southern New England's leading news station, Doug White, Patrice Wood, Gary Lay, and Frank Carpano. This is News Watch 10, the 11 o'clock report. Good evening, fishing boat captains in New Bedford. This is WJAR, Channel 10, Providence. Now, from Southern New England's leading news station, this is News Watch 10, the 11 o'clock report. This is WJAR, Channel 10, Providence. And now, from Southern New England's leading news station, Frank Coletta, Art Lake, and Tony DiBiazio. This is News Watch 10 at sunrise. Good morning. Welcome to another Monday, a pretty special Monday in Warwick. This is WJAR, Channel 10, Providence. And now, from Southern New England's leading news station, Doug White, Patrice Wood, Gary Lay, and Frank Carpano. This is News Watch 10, the 11 o'clock report. Good evening. The Coast Guard is suspending its search for a missing lobster boat. WJAR Channel 10, Providence, New Bedford. And now, from Southern New England's leading news station, this is the News Watch 10 530 report. Four high school students are snatched from the jaws of death while on the way to school, and the Democrats rally for Hillary Clinton. You're looking at live pictures from the State House. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken Malloy. We'll take you back to that rally in just a little bit. But first, a traffic accident, one that could have been a whole lot worse. WJAR Channel 10, Providence, New Bedford. And now, from Southern New England's leading news station, this is the News Watch 10 6 o'clock report. The man accused of killing the Brendel family goes back to court. We'll have the latest on that case. And Hillary Clinton is in Rhode Island tonight campaigning for her husband. Good evening, I'm Doug White. And I'm Kathy Ray. WJAR Channel 10, Providence, New Bedford. From the cornerstone of Southern New England Broadcasting, first with the news from generation to generation into the 90s and beyond. This is News Watch 10 up front at 5.30. North Mayor, North Providence Mayor Sal Mancini is indicted on federal extortion charges. And Newport Police round up a group of suspected drug dealers. Good evening, I'm Patrice Wood. And I'm Ken Malloy. 
WJAR Channel 10, Providence, New Bedford. From the cornerstone of Southern New England Broadcasting, first with the news, from generation to generation, into the 90s and beyond, this is News Watch 10 at 6. A battle against flame and freezing temperatures in Newport. And going on the offensive against the crime that's terrorizing the nation. Good evening, I'm Ginger Casey. And I'm Doug White. WJAR Channel 10, Providence, New Bedford. And now, from the cornerstone of Southern New England Broadcasting, this is News Watch 10 at 6. This video was shot close to home tonight. You decide, is it actually the glowing wreckage of a UFO? A school tries to stop copycat violence. This is News Channel 10 at noon. High winds whip southern New England on this Veterans Day 1998 as President Clinton lays the traditional wreath and has a warning for Saddam Hussein. This is News Channel 10. Stand by BT4. 12 4 on the effect. Mike Kelly, Hewer. Stand by BT5. The grandparents of an abducted 10 month old in East Providence are relieved tonight the child has been found safe and Wife. sound. Stand by camera and water restrictions and on and off again situation in southern New England is still on in Swansea. And dissolve the camera three effects. Good evening, I'm Kelly. Out the music this is News Channel 10. Last week, a jury convicted her of second-degree murder. This is News Channel 10, 19. A walk in the woods leads to an incredible discovery. Marijuana, lots of it, growing on state-owned land. Good evening, I'm Ginger K. Thank you for turning to 10. From WJAR, this is News Channel 10 at noon. The Plunder Dome investigation widens this time. It is Thank you for turning to 10. From WJAR, this is News Channel 10 at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Patrice Wood. Doug White is on leave. Topping the news tonight, the Haverhill man charged with killing seven of his co-workers makes his first... Thank you for turning to 10. From WJAR... This is News Channel 10 Weekend Sunrise. Thank you for turning to 10. From WJAR, this is News Channel 10 at 5.30. Thank you for turning to 10. From WJAR, this is News Channel 10 at 6. They'd eaten all our food, drank all our beer, and uh, partied their brains out. A News Channel 10 exclusive, a local... The News Channel 10 Night Team starts right now. And that angry ice rink incident tops your local news tonight. Thank you for turning to 10. This is NBC 10 News at noon. Thank you for turning to 10. This is NBC 10 News at 11. A local family's in shock after vandals tear apart their home. It's a story out of Fall River you'll see only on 10. Thank you for turning to 10. This is NBC 10 News Weekend Sunrise. Now, from NBC 10 News. Explosions rock the highway. Live from NBC 10 Studios, Southern New England's news leader, this is the team you trust. NBC 10 News at 5.30. Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with a story you first saw on TurnTo10.com. A tanker crashes on the highway and bursts into flames. Now, from NBC 10 News. And there it is, a volcano that's grounding planes... Live from NBC 10 Studios, Southern New England's news leader. This is the team you trust. NBC 10 News at 6. 
The volcano that has been erupting in Iceland remained stable overnight, but it continues to cause flight delays and cancellations today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Barbara Moore Silva. Live from NBC 10 Studios, Southern New England's news leader, this is the team you trust. NBC 10 News at 11. And we begin with more on the developing story we first brought you tonight at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Barbara Moore Silva. There is a tentative agreement tonight between... Now, from NBC 10 News. Eric Wallen is a Republican from South Kingstown. From NBC 10 Studios, Southern New England's news leader, this is the team you trust. 10 News Conference. Good morning. I'm Jim Chiaracani, along with our political reporter, Bill Rapley. Good This is the team you trust. First in news. First in weather. First in high definition. NBC 10 News 5 begins with a weather alert. Look familiar? Trees toppled, power lines down, damage all around, and all this from overnight storms that likely woke you up. Did they wake you up? Actually, no. <laughs> We're sound Not sleepers, me. I think. <laughs> Well, now get ready for round two. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Dan Janey. And I'm Allison Bologna. This is the team you trust. First in news. First in weather. First in high definition. NBC 10 News at 5.30 begins right now. Caught on camera, kicking a handcuffed woman. Now the police officer seen here, fighting to keep his job on the force. Lincoln police officer Edward Kraywitz was a no-show at that hearing today to get his job back. Hi everyone, I'm Dan Gene. Gene and Allison are off tonight. This is the team you trust. First in news, first in weather, first in high definition. NBC 10 News at 6 begins right now. And now it's such a thrilling minute as the America's Cup World Series races kick off in New Forest. It's the lead up to the top prize. Of course, NBC 10 is your official station for all of the action and First in news, first in weather, first in high definition. NBC 10 News, 7 at 7, begins with a weather alert. People in many parts of southern New England are weathering some pretty strong storms tonight. It's the team you trust. First in news, first in weather, first in high definition. NBC 10 News at 11 begins right now. Good evening, I'm Parker Gavigan. Live with coverage you trust. This is NBC 10 News at noon. New developments in the search. With coverage you trust. This is NBC 10 News at 5:30. The president names a new IRS boss and insists again that he knew nothing about the scandal. Live with coverage you trust. This is NBC 10 News at six. Right now at six inside the ER, a rare behind the scenes look inside a local trauma unit where doctors rush to save lives. It's a special health check head report. Live with coverage you trust. This is NBC 10 News Sunrise. Amtrak officials say service between New York and Philadelphia should be up and running again this morning. Fire tore through a Cumberland home over the weekend, left several residents displaced. And a new round of Boston 2024 Olympics public hearings are set to begin this week. We have details on those stories and a lot of other stuff, too. A lot of good information to pass along to you this Monday morning, May 18th. Good morning. Thank you for being up early with us. Live with coverage you trust, this is NBC 10 News at 5. And first at 5 tonight, we're following a developing story out of Warren. That's where the health department confirms to NBC 10... Live with coverage you trust, this is NBC 10 News at 6. Has the priest got a problem? A local teenager says he was the target of an obscenity-laced tirade during a religious class. Caught on camera, new developments tonight after some local teens are attacked on the TV. Live with coverage you trust, this is NBC 10 News at 7. So just two days after the State Board of Education Rhode Island... Live with coverage you trust. This is NBC 10 News at 11. Ma'am, where is the shark? I don't know. He bumped me out of my boat. The frantic 911 call. New on the night team. The two local kayakers desperate plea for help after a shark attacks. Local tribute. What's now being planned here at home for Joan Rivers, whose death today left many stunned and saddened. But first, we begin with breaking news out of Foxborough. Returning to 10, this is Southern New England's news leader. 
There's been more violence in the capital city of Rhode Island. Police there investigating another shooting. NBC 10 News Sunrise begins right now. Thank you for turning to 10. This is Southern New England's news leader. A train derailment in Tennessee has caused thousands of people to evacuate. NBC 10 News at noon begins right now. Thank you for turning to 10. This is Southern New England's news leader. And we are just getting word from a Massachusetts man, the latest victim in a string of shark attacks off the Carolina coast, and how authorities are working now to keep the shore safe this holiday weekend. NBC 10 News at 5 begins right now. Thank you for turning to 10. This is Southern New England's news leader. Plus, a small business in Warwick is suffering from construction of the Appanock Circulator. NBC 10 News at 5.30 begins right now. Thank you for turning to 10. This is Southern New England's news leader. A missing teenager from Texas is found in Rhode Island. Now a local man is facing sex trafficking charges. We'll tell you how her father helped police make the arrest. NBC 10 News at 6 begins right now. Thank you for turning to 10. This is Southern New England's news leader. On the broadcast at 7 o'clock, power problems. Millions spent to upgrade a local power system. So why were hundreds affected by an outage just this week? But first, a top 7 at 7 tonight. Now the 19 dead man walking. He's alive and well. Thank you for turning to 10. This is Southern New England's news leader. Only on 10, dead man walking. A local man is alive and well, but says the federal government has listed him as dead. And now it's impacting his finances and benefits. I'm Patrice Wood. Hi, everyone. I'm Dan. Jeannie. Thank you for turning to 10. This is Southern New England's news leader. New on the night team, fired up over the fire district. Now they're saying they may not make payroll on. NBC 10 News at 11 begins right now. NBC 10 News Sunrise starts right now. And now on Sunrise Vaping Concerns, Governor Gina Raimondo set to make an announcement regarding vaping. Federal help arrives to fight the opioid crisis. NBC 10 News at noon starts right now. And we begin here today. South Coast communities are getting help from the federal government in the fight against opioids and opioid abuse. Right now at 5, Revelation. Tonight, new accusations. NBC 10 News at 5 starts right now. It is violent and ugly. NBC 10 News at 5.30 starts right now. First at 5.30 tonight, some scary moments for people in Providence when a car crashes right into their building. This all happened last night on Vinton Street. The driver, identified as Marquise Davis, now facing charges in the crash, including operating without a license. Hello once again, everyone. I'm Dan Janik. And I'm Emily Bowles. All right, now at 6, the stash is seized. The DEA pulls hundreds of pot plants out of a Cranston home. NBC 10 News at 6 starts right now. First at 6 and only on 10, hundreds of pot plants pulled out of a Cranston home. Agents say they took growing tools out as well. Hello again, everybody. I'm Gene Bellicente. And I'm Patrice Wood. Surprised neighbors watched as DEA... NBC 10 News at 7 starts right now. First at 7 o'clock tonight, 10 teens arrested at Providence Place, keeping police and security pretty busy on Saturday night. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Bowles. Dan is off tonight. Now on the 19, impeachment proceedings. The move against the president is made. NBC 10 News 10 at 10 on MeTV starts right now. I'm announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. We're tracking the major developments out of Washington, D.C. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi calling for an impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. Good evening. I'm Patrice Wood. And I'm Dan Janik. Now on the 19 legal battle, the vaping bans in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. NBC.
ABC 10 News at 11 starts right now. The night team digging deeper as vaping bans go into effect. Legal battles on the horizon. Today, a vape shop in Massachusetts filed the first lawsuit in Superior Court asking for a preliminary injunction on the ban. NBC 10 News starts with breaking news. That breaking news is out of Massachusetts, where a third resident has now died after contracting Triple E. Okay. 